We are here in the laboratory in the witch's kitchen of Michael Sousa, who is master distiller with Paul John Distilleries here in Goa, India. Michael, thank you for joining us. Thank you thank for you. taking your time to talk to us. I wanted to ask you, uh, what did you get interested in, in whiskey? Uh, from the beginning, I always had a fascination for alcohol. Um, I wanted to do something uh, uh, in the an alcohol industry. Uh, that's how I started. Uh, I started uh, when I was 21, um, almost 26 years ago. So I started working um, under a couple of senior blenders. Um, then um, in 1990, actually I started in 1993. Mm -hmm. Until 1999, I was uh, assisting um, uh, senior blenders. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I switched over to distillation. Then I took over the distillation of um, grain and molasses uh, spirits, wherein we used to produce more than 100,000 liters uh, every day. Mm, until uh, 2006, uh, I was into uh, molasses distillation. Um, then Mr. Paul John decided to set his own, uh, set up his own single malt distillery. That's how I landed up in Goa. Mm -hmm. um, from 2006 to 2009, uh, I was, <coughs> you know, supervising and overseeing the construction of the distillery. In 2009, we actually started the distillation. So you're only distilling single malt here in, in, in Goa? That's uh, no, no grain whiskey, no, no blended whiskey, it's just single malt? Yeah. Uh, John distilleries are into different uh, alcohol babes. Uh, we make whiskies, we make IMFLs and we, we also make wines. When it comes to single malts, uh, Goa is the only facility uh, that has, uh, you know, that has a, you know, uh, capacity and the facility to distill single malt. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about capacity. How much do you produce a year here? Uh, until uh, 2017, uh, we used to distill approximately um, 800,000 liters. Mm -hmm. uh, then we doubled our capacity. Now uh, it has gone up to 1.2 million liters every uh, year. Every day we distill approximately 4,000 liters of new mix spirit. Mm -hmm. And the big part or the, the bigger part of your production goes to overseas, to Europe, to, to the US, right? Uh, the overall, per, I mean, um, the, I would say 60% we are exporting. Mm -hmm. The 40% of the, uh, the single malts are sold in India uh, in various markets. Mm -hmm. So you oversaw the uh, construction of this site, you are now master distiller here, it's uh, practically you decide the way the whiskey develops. What would you say is the, the special thing about Paul John whiskey? What makes it stand out? What makes it different? See, when it comes to whiskey, uh, whiskey, every whiskey has its own uni unique uh, regional characteristics. Uh, we have a distillery in Goa. Uh, the Goan climate is very tropical. Mm -hmm. It's warm, it's humid. Uh, we make different whiskies here. Uh, not only because of the weather, also because of the design of the pot still, the way we uh, do our fermentation, uh, the distillation. And finally, we measure our whiskies in um, various American oak casks. Mm -hmm. uh, so this makes our whiskey uh, more bolder, more, more robust in character and also more minerally in character because uh, Goa has got wonderful tropical climate, the salt is in the air. During the course of maturation, whiskey tend to absorb a lot of saltiness from the air. Mm. So, when we talk about the expressions of Paul John here, what, what would be your favorite right now? Uh, I always love unpeated uh, whiskies from ex bourbon mm. uh, because for me, I like my palate is more towards elegant whiskies. Uh, when it comes to ex bourbon, uh, you get a lot of tropical fruity notes. Uh, you have a lot of vanilla and uh, a lot of nuttier characters coming through. Uh, when it comes to Paul John expressions, classic uh, salad cask is my is one of my favorite expressions because it's more complex, um, it is more elegant. Uh, it is bottled at 55, but still it is very very smooth. Um, yeah, this is classic is my. 
And when, when it comes to expressions not from your distillery, which one would you say is your favorite one? I am a very, very and a big fan, fan of uh, bourbon whiskies. Um, I have a lot of, I've tasted a lot of, lot of um, uh, whiskies from different distilleries. Uh, uh, so Buffalo Trace, some of the Buffalo Trace expressions, especially um, Sazerac Rye is one of my favorite. Are you planning to do rye whiskey here in India as well? Uh, okay. In India we don't have rye, okay. uh, we don't grow rye here. Uh, we have to import the grain uh, from uh, abroad. So uh, sense, I don't right? think uh, you know, I mean, we, would be, we would be distilling rye uh, uh, sooner. So let's look a little bit into the future. When you think about the distillery, where do you see it in about 10 years from now? What, what, where do you want to take it to? See, we are taking one step at a time because we are on a, we are on a learning curve, I would say. Um, we have not reached a, a level wherein I, I can you know, confidently say that what would happen to our whiskey tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have just reached a 10 year old, 10 year mark. Uh, we don't know what is there for us tomorrow. So I think um, uh, <clears throat> making whiskey is very challenging in India because every day whiskey cha changes because of the uh, the temperature that we have. Um, yeah, I would say you know um, we take uh, small steps, but the proper ones. Michael, thank you for your time. Thank you for hosting us here, and have a good day.